Eric Arnold back in the sports barn here. It's Friday, February 5th. Well, we got college basketball here for you on this Friday. Uh, we took a couple days off. We made a Super Bowl video, and as Bob Euchre said in Major League, uh, if you haven't seen it, and judging by the number of views, you haven't. Hey, check it out, you know, our uh, tire, well, not to uh, steal the thunder there, but the tire uh, rolled down the hill further for the Kansas City Chiefs, so uh, who's to question the uh, tire? Uh, the Chiefs will be the Super Bowl champion, according to the tire. Well, they are a Super Bowl champion, so they'll be the two-time defending champions then. Uh, this is the second time we're making this video. Uh, that's one of the things I've become frustrated with is, uh, you know, it just takes hours and hours and hours to make these videos and perhaps the learning curve of how to operate these programs and video editors is maybe steeper than uh, I had anticipated. So, a little discouraged about that. Mostly I'm really discouraged by A, we're losing, B, the pandemic, mostly B, uh, you know, it's uh, just, this is endless, this, uh, and I'm getting frustrated with it, so more frustrated with it, if, uh, if you can believe that. At any rate, you didn't tune in to hear me bitch, you wanted to hear some college picks so you can fade them. Here they are. Fort Wayne, that's in your uh, horizon. Oh, my, my little model just says that Fort Wayne, and we're going to put two stars on it because the little model's all excited about it. And uh, the little model hasn't worked since, uh, you know, 2019. <laughs> but it uh, says this is a good spot for Detroit to take a break. So uh, Fort Wayne's catching six and a half points. We'll go with uh, Fort Wayne. Uh, that's where for, uh, uh, Dr. Frank Burns is from Fort Wayne. Uh, and if you millennials are going, who is Dr. Frank Burns? I'm not even going to tell you. Look it up. All right, next. Uh, Louisiana Monroe, they're catching nine points from Texas Arlington again. The model just says, well, this looks like a good spot for Arlington to take a break. Monroe's the worst team in the Sun Belt. I don't know. One star there. We don't have a lot of confidence in that. I don't have a lot of confidence in any of this stuff. Uh, I got one game here I think I have some confidence in. And we'll get that to that in a second. Uh, we got Maryland-Penn State. This is an actual interesting game that will be on TV. Uh, Penn State's a two-and-a-half point favorite. Uh, probably one of these teams will make the tournament, but not both of them. They're both about at the same level, and it just feels like the tournament committee will take one, but not both. This is probably a knockout game. I guess they play again later in the season, so uh, perhaps uh, the you know, the loser may not be totally out. They may have a chance to get some vengeance uh, later in the season. But definitely, uh, to make the tournament, you want this game. Um, we're just taking Maryland here, just on the theory that they won their last time out. Penn State lost their last time out. You're talking about making the tournament. Maryland makes the tournament. Penn State doesn't make the tournament historically. And I think it's just basically boils down to just that simplistic logic. It's probably why we're losing. All right, here's a game we actually feel pretty good about. Kent State, they're a two-point favorite against Akron. Kent State, they, they, the best team in the MAC is Toledo. These two are probably two and three. Akron and Kent State have both played Toledo this year. Akron, not so well. Kent State played them pretty close. By that, we, we're, I, we, us, and we, by we, I mean I, uh, are going to say that Kent State's better than Akron. They're better. That's what we think. Two stars here. Lay the two points at home at Kent State. And then lastly, you got UTEP. Uh, they're catching seven and a half on the road at UAB. 
Uh, so, you know, I guess the two star games are Fort Wayne and Kent State. Um, I like the Kent State better. I like that one pretty well. Uh, and then, uh, you know, Maryland and Big Ten, you know, the big matchup of the night, if you will. Um, good. What else is going on? Uh, Ohio State, big one last night in the Big Ten, uh, winning at Iowa. Uh, Ohio State, I mean, they're, they're, they're going to have to almost run the table to win the conference, but uh, they still have a big game coming up with Michigan. If they get that, you know, could be a good year for the Buckeyes. Uh, if it's your first day in the barn, why do I give a damn about that? I'm an Ohio State alum. Yeah, you know, <laughs> so there. All right, we're going to try to get you some Saturday content just so, you know, we get some action for Saturday. Like I said, Sunday, we've got our prop bets here. Uh, for the Sunday uh, Super Bowl, our Super Bowl special video is out there already. Check that out, uh, and uh, uh, you'll probably find that a little more entertaining than this video. All right, thanks. Good to see you. We'll see you again. Eric Arnold signing off. All right, we got to show it up close here. We'll show it up close. We're fiddling with the settings, trying to find something that works. So I think you can see that pretty closely there. If you can't see that, well, I don't know. All right, signing off.